Welcome back. In the island nation of the Dominican Republic, the sport of baseball is a national obsession and a potential ticket to vast wealth for those lucky enough to make it to the professional leagues in the United States. But some critics say those big leagues are part of a system that exploits Dominican youths hungry for a better way of life. Rob Reynolds spent some time with the Boys of Summer in San Pedro de Mocris. The crack of bat on ball is a siren song for tens of thousands of Dominicans looking for a way out of poverty. I'm Baseball came to this island nation over a century ago. Today, the game is a national obsession and a big business. American major league teams scour the Dominican countryside for raw talent that can be transformed into profits. At this baseball training academy, operated by the Los Angeles Dodgers, we met Pedro Guerrero, an 18-year-old shortstop with a big league dream. When I see all of the fans looking at the players, it feels good. I say to myself, wow, I'd like to be there and be part of the big show. This is the big show that all the young ball players dream of. There are over 400 Dominicans in the major leagues where the average player's annual salary is three and a quarter million dollars. The average Dominican annual income is just $2,000, and most of these teenagers come from poverty-stricken families in the countryside, where opportunities besides baseball are few. Dominican parents often pressure their kids to make the grade. For every fancy, well-funded camp like the Dodgers Academy, there are dozens of baseball schools like this, small, family-run places where living conditions are much more primitive. This camp is owned by Carmelo Tejera. He makes his money grooming players for the big academies. Tejera says while he treats his players fairly, other agents and coaches are unscrupulous. Yes, there are many people that want to trick and take advantage of these kids. For some Dominican teenagers, baseball represents a ticket out of poverty. But critics say most of these youngsters are exploited by the system, which treats them more like commodities than kids. Every young player has an agent who tries to sign him up with one of the major league academies. Those contracts can be worth 50, 80, or even $100,000. Sports agent Joe Costa says the vast majority of young players wind up with nothing when their big league dream dies. You've got tens of thousands of kids that tried to sign pro contracts and they didn't, and now they're stuck with a seventh grade education. At Tejera's scruffy baseball school, every morning begins with a prayer, asking God to let the dream of wealth and fame live on for another day. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, San Pedro de Macorís, the Dominican Republic.